you gotta be respecting the royalty. Here's your look at the Boss Fight Studio, Vitruvian Hacks, Highly Articulated Character Kit System, Queen Solan, the Elven Monarch. Chosen to lead the elves over her older sister Nerissa, Solan is calm, cunning, and calculated. In the past, she was well known for examining every angle of a problem, researching it for a long time before she reached a decision and chose a course of action. Solan was always mindful that elves must live with the consequences of their actions due to their longevity. Her sister Nerissa was impulsive and is now missing. Something to an elven mind is not a coincidence. Recent events and the ongoing skirmishes throughout the lands have changed her. Autumn branch elves fall in battle and members of the Spring Branch defensive forces desperately attempt to plug the resulting gaps. Realizing that the survival of her people is at stake, Solan has ordered the elves to prepare for war. Before we see who stands with Solan, I'd like to thank the folks over at Boss Fight Studio that did provide this sample of this elven monarch that we could have a look at in this video. Grabbing the tape measure now just to see how tall the figure stands, clickety click right to the very top of her head. Queen Solan stands three and three quarters of an inch tall, or she's about nine and a half centimeters tall. And then to compare the queen with another figure we've gotten from the Vitruvian Hacks line, moving and freeing a little bit of space to bring in the Knight of Accord. Knight of Accord, granted, is going to be a little bit taller just because I've still got this figure displayed with a really cool helmet that's got the wings onto the sides. That will make for a little more of a higher figure than what we're getting here with Solan. If not for that, the figures are going to be roughly about the same size to one another. And once again, if you're looking for figures that come with lots of accessories, Boss Fight Stew's Vitruvian Hacks will not disappoint. First of which, the figure comes included with a display stand. It's the same display stand, same display stand that we've gotten before with the uh, Knight of Accord. It's the exact same color also as well. We're going to bring in the one that came included with Knight of Accord. So far, they seem to be treated with black display stands, which I think is fine. I mean, if I was to choose a color for stands for any one of these figures, black would probably be the most simplest, the most grounded of colors to go with all of these figures. You wouldn't have to worry about colors clashing. And I did have some difficult time, I have to say, by getting the figure onto the display stand. You may see for yourself right now, the size of hole is quite small on Solan here. I might even have to take myself like a little small screwdriver and see if I can dowel it open a little bit more. Just by the plastic alone wasn't enough, even with all the pressure I put against it, to widen that hole that's... You can see it almost looks as if the mold was a little too closed shut. It needs to be open a lot more than that. So unfortunately, I can't get the queen to stand on her display stand and knock on wood, I can actually get her stand right now. Get her stand... Let's hope, let's hope. She was standing fine, and of course now that I've talked about the display stand, she's going to give me more difficult time getting her to stand. I think that's right. I think I think she's going to be okay. I hope. Looking at the rest of the accessories that come included with the queen, she comes with some swappable hands. I'm going to go through this first, simply just because these aren't the hands I'm going to have displayed with her. As happy as I am, as grateful as I am that Boss Fight Studio include these swappable hands with all of their Vitruvian hacks and hero hack figures, I never end up ultimately using them a lot of the times just because there's too many cool accessories that come included with these figures. A lot of times I just double it up, double it up. And these figures come with all these accessories, I usually just display them with two accessories in their hands. So for the time being, as nice as an emerald green as this may be, I'm not going to be displaying them with the figure. I'm going to put those to the side instead. For the things that she can actually hold in her hand, first of which seems to be a scepter. It almost looks like on the end, it's cabbage. I'm assuming it's supposed to be a fire, or maybe it's actually a flower that's relative to her homeland, but it kind of looks like that it's a staff or scepter with a cabbage on the end of it. It still has the nice metallic emerald green, you can see nicely presented here, and also it looks like they've got slightly darker leaves down below here. It's not quite black, but it's actually more of a really, 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 really dark green. And of course, that the actual staff portion is the thing that she can hold in her hand. Another option available if you're looking to display her with something else is she comes in clue with a broad elven sword. I like to look at this one quite a lot. The scripture that they've carved in the actual blade looks to be like they've actually added some additional green in there as well. A little covered over nicely in a little nooks and crannies. 
lighter coloring in almost the guard area, although it's not quite a, as much of a guard, a lighter green there and a lighter green on the end with a darker green sandwiched in the middle of that. And again, that can hold into her hand as well. I think my favorite though, of the things that come in clue with this figure is this sword here, which actually kind of looks more like, I would guess a longer stats handled dagger. Uh, it does actually have a blade on the end of it, so I have to wonder if it's supposed to attach onto the end of the scepter, sort of giving her a longer-reaching spear that she can use instead. Or you could probably use this maybe with another one of the Vitruvian hack accessories that we've looked at before, like, for example, I haven't tried this yet, so we'll see if this works. I'm going to take the one that came with the Accord Knight, the Knight of Accord, and I'm just going to see, oh, no, that's not going to work. I'm going to take the axe handle here. And it isn't going to quite fit. I probably could even maybe broaden that, make it a little bit bigger, and maybe I'd be able to fit it that way. But the colors aren't going to quite, they're going to clash a little bit. So I'm guessing the idea is this is supposed to attach to the end of the scepter. And so she has like now a, a longer reached spear to work with. Figure also comes included here with a with a shield. I like the look of the shield too. It's kind of almost got like a big giant leaf green coloring to it. I mean, it looks literally like they just took a leaf off a giant tree and forged it into a shield they would have to make it a little bit more durable than just a leaf unless these leaves in elvenville are actually qu quite a lot stronger i do like the coloring though the coloring is really good you got the vein work done here in the lighter green sort of a center section done in silver and a little orb of the same green in the middle of that uh, there is also these little loops on the side that you can of course take then i would say of course like you guys assume you can take then the scepter and you can slide that into that as well so she sort of has that I guess she could display it more like a, I don't know, a coat of arms, or she probably just display it like that. And you just have like a little piece that sticks out from the end. So there's that option available as well. Any one of these things, as we've already just finished discussing, can actually fit into her hands. I haven't yet had the chance to show you guys, but let's go ahead and take my favorite of the things. We're going to go ahead and take this slightly curved blade sword, and we can go ahead and take the shield and they attach into her hand. The good thing, at least about these figures, is they're using generally soft plastic for the, at least the hands. So you really don't have to fight a lot to get the weapons into her hands, or in this case, the shield and the weapon in her other hand. The other thing the figure comes included with as well, I don't think it's necessarily alternate looks for Solan herself, where she actually comes included with some swappable heads. Now, just to pick up Solan here and show you with the alternate head sculpt, I think it's actually more a case of an elven army where they're all wearing similarly designed armor. Because you can see, like, this one does have the shaved head to the side, longer flowing white hair on the other. Do doesn't quite match the same facial features as Solan here. So if you wanted to have a differently displayed elven, you can also do that as well. Go ahead, just pop that off. You can re easily replace it now with a different head sculpt. With this head, though, the only thing about it is you may have to remove the back piece. Because if you see right now, to try to put this on top of the head or on top of the neck, it's a little more difficult, and it's also going to push the head further forward. One workaround to that, as we have done with already the, the Knight of Accord, is that you can actually take the back piece here, this leaf armor, and just remove it from the torso. It just detaches, just like that. And if you wanted to display this alternate head sculpt without that, that would be one thing as well to differentiate the look of this one, this head sculpt, from Queen Solan. Solan would have the armor. Speaking of armor, though, the other head sculpt that she comes included with is this one here. And even though I would probably be more inclined to display her, I think, as Queen Solan, I gotta say, like, like the, the helmet head sculpt is so cool. I think I'm going to probably ultimately display it with that. Still has the pointed ears of the elves, as you can see on the side. And this one actually does have a ponytail sticking out the back. And again, we're just going to pop this one off. This one doesn't have to worry as much about hair. So we're going to go ahead and put the armor shoulder piece back on place, in place. Twist it around, just make sure I've got it lined up. And then we can go ahead and just snap on the helmet, which I think in this case actually gives us more closer to being like an elf army soldier. Whereas this would be the queen that's leading the army. This would be just basically a, a, an elf, an elf a soldier of sorts that would be basically leading behind her. Really, again, the detailing done to just this piece alone. Look how small this is. I always keep bringing my thumb in as a, as a gauging mark. My thumbs are generally quite small anyways. But I mean, that's how small these head sculpts are. And the amount of paint that they managed to put into these pieces is quite remarkable. I'm going to leave this one on for the time being, even though it's not technically the queen. Or maybe it is the queen, although this one does have the ponytail at the back. Maybe she decided to braid her hair, hair, her hair near the end. We're going to leave it off for the time being. I'm going to stick with this one because I really like the look of this one. 
Now we already looked at the fact that this does have a removable piece. You can take this off completely if you want to. They do, they do still manage to put a hole in the back though. So if you do have yourself like a pack or like a scabbard or something like that, you can actually attach it onto the back. Now I haven't even again tried this, but this was the scabbard that came included with the knight. Yeah. Pegs way too big. It's not going to fit on the back of that. Never mind. But you got some nice detailing done to the back here. Again, you got like the armor looks like it's just made of leaves. Uh, got some nice veining of, of gold added in there as well. You've got some gold added onto the top. And the gold also stretches across the front of her torso and down her arms as well on these little gauntlets that she's got there too. She has skirting here on the front, which luckily is soft enough plastic. And it split the sides open, so you can actually still take the legs and easily move them out, which we'll talk more about in, more in the articulation side of things. And just to show you what it looks like on the back, just a really, really interesting looking figure. As much as I did like the Knight of Accord, I gotta say, I think I like the look of Queen Solan a little bit more with this specific head sculpt here. Which I kind of feel bad, the fact that I'm leaving the Queen's head over off to the side with the rest of her accessories. For the articulation here for Queen Solan, we're going to go ahead and start with her head, of course. The head is on a ball joint. Even though this one does technically have the ponytail, it doesn't limit at all what you can do with the head. It can look down and it can look up and it can look back and forth as well. I love this crest along the top there as well. Shoulders come out. Uh, the arms are a little more on the stiffer side, admittingly, though, on this figure, but you can easily move the arms forward and back. And if the joint was just a little bit looser, just a little bit looser, I'd be able to bring them out at a I would say a comfortable 90 degree angle bend. She does have a swivel in her, in her, not her bicep, but in her elbow. It's actually just below her bicep, but that hinge joint also allow, allows the elbow to bend back and forth. Hands rotate also back and forth this way as well. Despite the a very elaborate looking armor that these elves have, she has actually some decent articulation in the top of the torso. Periodically though, as you probably already can see, you can decapitate, I guess not decapitating, cutting them in the mid torso. Uh, if you move it too far, too much to the extreme, I, I notice more forward than backwards. When you move it forward, it seems to want to pop off a lot of times from the ball joint, but at least because the construction of these figures are all ball joint related, it's easy just to pop back in place. And then again, for the legs, as we already looked and discussed, the legs do split out. You can take the legs and move them forward and back because again, the skirting is only in the middle. There's a swivel cut on the thigh about three quarters of the way up. There's a double hinge on the knee. And there's again, that articulation back and forth on the ankles, and you can also ankle rock them too. Great looking figure. I really like the look of this one quite a lot. The look of the emerald green almost kind of looks as if it would be like a guard for the Wizard of Oz, for the guard of Oz, I suppose. And again, the hard thing about a figure like this is even though the intended plan I would imagine from Boss Fight Studio is to display this figure as Queen Solan herself, there's just too many cool accessories to come include with this figure. And this one being my favorite of the batch, I'm probably going to be more inclined, I think, to display that as this head sculpt, not necessarily as the other two that come include with the figure. And that's one of the downsides when you have a figure that has too many cool accessories, is trying to decide for yourself which way you want to display the figure. And even though the packaging may advertise it as Queen Solan, I think I'm instead going to be displaying it as an elf guard, just because the cool head sculpt that they included with the figure. So what seems to be the case is that Boss Fight Studio are packing these Vitruvian hacks with the figure's defaulted head being the leader of the group. Though we have the Queen Solan here, I probably would just be safe to assume that the Knight of Accord was also the same sort of idea. That you had like the leader that had the helmet with the more interesting looking elaborate helmet. And then of course all the other alternate head sculpts are sort of the drones or the soldiers as part of her army. That would certainly be more the case I would imagine here with Queen Solan. And kind of part of me does feel guilty the fact that even though the head is belonging to the queen, the packaging belongs to the queen, ultimately I think I'm going to be settling on the idea of displaying her as more of a soldier just because the head sculpt I think is too cool in this case to put back in the packaging. So Queen Solan's head, decapitated and all, is going to be going back into the plastic tray and I'm going to be displaying this one instead as one of the elf army. I like the way that this one does have as many weapons as it has. Currently right now, as you can see, I've got her displayed with the leaf shield and that slightly curved blade. There's a couple of other, other, other options also available in, in there as well. And I, I would imagine, too, that each one of the character's heads probably also have a designated sword. Maybe like the queen comes included with a scepter. Maybe the long, flowing, white-haired elf head sculpt was supposed to come included with that broad sword. Or maybe even this sword right here. 
And then the other one would have just come with the other one. But it does, it's not that it really matters anyways. The whole idea with the Vitruvian hacks and across the board, even the hero hacks the Boss Fight Studio are putting out, is that you can mix and match. You don't have to necessarily be married, committed to the idea of displaying the figure in one way. Just because the packaging does say Queen Solan does not mean, does not mean at all, you have to display her as Queen Solan. Nice looking figure though. I'd like to thank the folks over at Boss Fight Studio that once again did provide the sample of the Vitruvian hacks, Queen Solan, the Elven Monarch, even though she's not technically that right now. What do you guys think of the figure? Let me know down below in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, hit it with a like. If you're loving the content that you're seeing and certainly want to stick around for more, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification. We are going to be also looking at more Vitruvian hacks, thanks to the folks over at Boss Fight Studio. And certainly if you did want to go back and check out my other videos I've done for them in the past, there will be also a playlist popping up right after this video is wrapping up. Oh, of course, many more videos coming your way, guys, above and beyond also the stuff that we're going to be doing more for Boss Fight Studio. So make sure, yeah, you're coming back here on a regular basis. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.